Hi, welcome to She is Restored. My name is Zini Ajiboye. I trust you've had an amazing week. Uh, last week we started a series titled The Winning Woman and that's our theme for the rest of the month. My prayer is that we will remain winning in the mighty name of Jesus. Last week we talked about a winning woman, that she's a woman who puts God first in everything that she does. She has a list of priorities and God is number one in her life. God, family, purpose. God starts a list of anything that she does. Today we're going to talk about a winning woman further. You see, a winning woman is a woman who is not guided by her emotions or her feelings. A winning woman is a woman who allows God to lead her and guide her. You see, I've heard a lot of people say, do you? And when I hear that word, do you, my question is this, what does do you mean? Because when you do you, you have a tendency to fall and fail. But when you allow God to lead you and guide you, there is nothing that you cannot do. A lot of us allow ourselves to be led by our emotions. I've done things in the past that I look back and I say, God, I cringe when I think about it. I say, God, I can't believe I did that. And because those were things that I did in the flesh, I didn't allow God to lead me. You see, every time I do things in the flesh, I fail. Let me tell you something about me. You see, one of the things that God delivered me from was the spirit of anger. I would get angry. When I'm angry, I could lead, I mean, I can't even begin to tell you how I was when I was angry. And so there was this certain woman, you know, after God had taken over my life, but she really didn't know because I was just, God was still working in me gently, quietly. And she did something. What this woman did is something that on a normal day, I would have fled up. Oh my goodness. I would have done so many outrageous things, but I was calm. I was gentle. I even prayed for this woman when she did what she did. You see, and I noticed that she was shocked. Months later, she called me crying. She said, Dunya, I've not been able to sleep. I've been thinking countless. I said, what's going on? She said, you know what I did to you that day? I was waiting for you to do what I know that you would normally do because I was waiting to set a trap for you and I was hoping you would fall into that trap. And she said, but your character, what you did surprised me and I just want to apologize to you. <laughs> Even I hung up the phone and I began to cry. I said, God, that I, I was led by anger so much that people knew me, that they knew that ah, this is one thing I would do. Once I do this, this is how this girl will react. Do you know that the devil will intentionally sometimes set a trap for us because he knows we'll react based on our feelings and we we'll end up falling into that trap. And my prayer is that God will lead us and guide us in the mighty name of Jesus. We will not be led by our feelings. Scripture says in Galatians 2.20, it is not I that lives, but it's Christ that lives through me. I have been crucified through Christ. How does Christ lead you? Or how do you even allow God to lead you and guide your emotions? A woman who does not surrender to God, God cannot lead and guide you. You need to ultimately say, God, I want to surrender before you because there's nothing I can do without you. Each time I take a step, God, I feel I fall flat on my face, but God, I want to surrender to you today because I know with you, I can move mountains. With you, I will continue to win. I don't know who needs to see this, who has been guided by their emotions and their feelings, and they feel like they are losing in life. My prayer is that as you surrender yourself to God today, as you say, God, guide me, lead me. My prayer is that the Lord will guide you. He would lead you and he'll perfect every single thing that concerns you in the mighty name of Jesus.